go to the captain's room. What's up, guys? It's Jazz here. But you don't really care, as the ship is losing altitude, and we're gonna go take care of Eggman. If I'm to continue, I need to change this ship back to its original shape. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. Basically, I'm not allowed to go that way, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let's go in here, though. Oh, uh, this might actually be where I need to go, actually. Never mind. If you turn this switch on, wings will appear on the floor. Oh, well, I will give that a look. Since none of these other doors want to open for me anyway. Okay, cool. So, you want to light speed dash up and along? Welcome to the captain's room. There is a secret here, though. Everything, there's a lot of, a lot of levers going crazy at the front. But actually, if you sit in the big man's chair, a button appears. And if I do this right, there we go. There is a switch. That'll put us back into normal mode. Emergency alert has been cancelled. Resuming monorail operation. Also, there's apparently supposed to be an emblem in this room that appears when the chair moves, and I swear that's what I remember. I don't, I don't see the emblem anywhere. I'm actually genuinely lost, but okay, it, it probably I doesn't matter. Away toward the front of the ship. Hurry up and catch him. Also, it's interesting. This game seems to get confused between Doctor Eggman and Robotnik. I'm gonna give another look around here, see if I can find that emblem. But if not, we'll continue on without him or without it. Yeah, I just could not find it. Oh well, let's move on. Cause I see Doctor Eggman and a blue blob. Off in the distance. Oh no! Not again! Chaos! Could this be the same beast? <laughs> oh yes! Attack Sonic! No! Froggy? I must say Froggy! If he's your friend, I'll help you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> now I have six of the Chaos Emeralds. There's only one more left to find. I even found Chaos's missing tail. You won't get away with this, you madman. I will. You're no match for Chaos, even though he's not perfected yet. Okay, Chaos. Destroy them all! Immediately! Welcome to the boss fight against Chaos 6. Now coming with a tail, he's fully a six-limbed creature. But since there's only seven Chaos Emeralds, he could never be a spider. So we're all good. So Chaos 6 attacks in a certain manner of ways. Eggman throws these enemies that will try and freeze you, while Chaos 6 sucks stuff up. You spit it and throw him into him. I can't believe this. He becomes frozen, and you can use that to damage him. Also the, no way, I can't believe this. We'll get old real soon too. Along with Aha, which he does every time he throws out a frozen thing. Oh boy. Anyway, now like the amphibious thing that he is, he will now jump like a frog. Thankfully, Big did get froggy, I think, before we start attacking him. Actually, I might be able to see him in there. I'm not sure. I can't tell. I think Froggy has been taken out now, so we're okay. It's just the emeralds in him now. Yeah, I still don't see Froggy. Anyway, are you going to suck us up? There we go. That's the proper time to throw it at him. No way! I can't believe this! Boom! Lovely. Right. What happens now? What is the next move of action? Eggman's going to continue throwing the thing that's destroying Chaos 6, because he's obviously a massive genius, despite his IQ supposedly being really well. Really good. I, I could not have jumped over that if I tried it, I don't think. That's annoying. Uh, oh. Do this. Ooh, that's close. You gonna, you gonna do any more moves? No? Well, I'll just 
No, nope, that went over you. Okay, great. Let's try again. Oh, oh, oh. Sucking, sucking. Oh, lovely. You could also just no disable way. a frozen thing breathe. and let him sucking up himself. You don't have to necessarily throw it, which is nice. That's another way to do it. That went over him again. Oh, and I stuck around. Uh, okay. Come on in, buddy. No, no, I get. No, I guess you don't have to. I mean, yeah, buddy, do what you want. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. New move. He becomes a massive spike thing. Spits out glowing balls. You might see this later in the series. And then swipe with his tail. Looks kind of jarring now that I'm seeing it like 20 years after it was made. But still, it's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. I mean, logistically, I'm not sure how that makes any sense. But that's not a thing we've ever worried ourselves about. Right, for the final move. No I can't believe this. He disappears once again hey, in the sound of that goddamn so toilet effect. Knuckles, when did you get here? Hey there, Knuckles. Glad you finally made it. I thought you got lost or something. Until we meet again, Sonic. Stop! Come back here. And so now, Sonic just jumps off the egg carrier. Gravity be damned. And face first as well. Uh, I hate Eggman. Where's this? Trying to show me something. Well, well, alrighty then. Welcome to the Mystic Ruins, and uh, I guess we better go forward. Except we're not going to do that. We are in the jungle area of the Mystic Ruins, and there's a few things we can see. So I'm gonna go about and go and get those things. I will see you in a moment. So, welcome back to the jungle. It's the main area that we've gone to now. This is the entrance, and we wanna go to a few places. You may see the path is kind of, kind of similar to the map that we got. In fact, uh, hold on a minute, let me go um, get it out as soon as I work out this camera. There we go. So, it's kind of similar. Now, where we want to go is along the right path straight from the entrance and keep going that way. So, let's jump on with that. Take a right. Oof, if we can get moving. There we go. There's a lot of invisible walls here, so it's a bit odd, but oh well. Go along further, take a right along this river, and you shall find, eventually, Field Emblem. Lovely and waiting for us. Now, there was a man I saw just earlier, and I kind of want to talk to him to see what he has to say. Maybe he's got some deep philosophical points about this jungle to mention, or maybe he's just lost, but I'm, I'm curious to know about him. What do you have to say there, buddy? I've been in the jungle for months. Oh, my wife is in Station Square. I am so lonely without her. Oh, I got sadder and sadder as I read along. Anyway, the other places we're going to go, I will jump to right now. There's a little alcove on the left. We're going to go there. Oh, hello. What do you have to say there, buddy? I entered a jungle that never ends. Oh, but it's cool. That's a, that's a nicer version. Although, the entrance or exit for you will be like right there. Also, hello. This looks interesting. Huh. So it's all sanded off. That's... 
good to know. I'll remember that's there later, I think. Right, let's move on a little more, shall we? What's going on here? Take a slightly more turn. The part where I cut off was basically here. There's a little alcove around here that we can go to, and this is not where an emblem is. This is where something else is. Oh well, we'll come to it later. Uh, there is one more place in the jungle I want to go to, so let's go there. Right, so it turned out neither of the places I wanted to go to were actually giving us something new. So instead, we're going to move on way out of the jungle. Sorry. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. What do you have to say there, buddy? Since the first party still hasn't returned, we're going to send out another party. I hope they're okay. They're probably fine, yeah. Right. Let's move on. We're missing a handful of things. One of them being, <laughs> you remember this? Ice cap. We never actually did level or rank B and C. We never got around to it because the thing was frozen all the time and then we had to go off to the egg carrier. So let's take on the ice cap. This one's pretty simple. Just collect 50 rings and destroy the capsule. Basically, so let's run on up. Get ourselves a kind of shortcut. I feel like the other way with the, the little panels you can jump on are probably faster, but oh well, it's fine. This isn't the speed run level, so we're okay. So get, get me up on there. There we go. Jump. Yup. 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 Oh, oh no, that works. See, that was fine. That's cool. Uh, it's a pun as well. That's cool. Oh, that's weird. I got like these little mini burps now. That's, that's not. That's not fun. But oh well. I love the ominous part of this place as well. It, it's not entirely fitting, and the sound effect of that enemy is quite off-putting, but like, so sound design it's not the best, but the ominousness of this music is nice. I like it. And I think I just got myself a nice little trick. Although I'm still glowing. There we go. Ooh, that was kind of cool. Uh, I, I think that, that has saved me a bit of time, so I how much it saved. Oh, hello, arrow rings. Right. I gotta say though, actually, for a real life thing, I'm actually able to talk about real life, real life a little more now since we're coming into a, a moment of like you know what's going on and I don't need to explain something because you've heard all the trivia and you've heard whatever and it's quite nice and relaxing. So I'm gonna use this as the opportunity to talk about real life. I'm glad winter's over. Is what I'm saying, basically. Um, even though there is a chance that Britain's gonna have some snowfall and more coldness in the future. It's warm right now, and I'm really liking it. I really enjoy going out in just a shirt. I mean, I wear other clothes as well, but I mean, not with like a hoodie and coats every five seconds. You know? It's nice to be warm sometimes. So I'm glad to be out of this frozen cold labyrinth. But I wouldn't want to be in Australia right now. They have their heat wave thing going on. That that doesn't sound fun. Right, back to broken camera angles and avalanches. I love this music so much. I, I thought there was more of an intro, and there kind of is. I don't know. I'll be quiet for this bit. Or not. Is, we still can't tell if this is the intro of the actual music. There it is. Now we're into the proper music. Lovely. That was a, if that is all just an intro, that's a real long intro. But yeah, I love this avalanche section. It's just... It's fun. It's fast. It's great. It might not, like, it controls almost too well in that everything's real sensitive, but it's like, it's fun, you know? And like, the mechanics are a bit off with the gravity and uh, whatever that was, but like, I don't know, it's entertaining. It's not really that bad, you know? That's, that's the purpose of the whole thing anyway. Although the snow effect is weird, because it seems pretty clear that it's only on where you are. It's just sort of like appearing in front of you. It's odd. Oh well, I, I like it. It's good. Now I'm keeping a mental note of where all the ramps are for the speedrun version of this level, but that's all fun. That's all cool. Alright, hello buddy. Is he gonna hit me this time? I don't know. I mean, I know you can, but I don't think he actually will. Let's see, you gonna hit us this time? Oh, oh that was kind of close. If only you had more bombs. Oh well. Shame on you, buddy. Alright, slide around here. Get these rings. And 
Hello ramp. Give us your speed. And we're getting all the best speed ones, I think, as well, so... Well, so much for that. This has gone incredibly slow. Okay, here we go. That's better. The bridge. Another ramp. That's uh, okay. And I think that's, that's pretty fast. I'll take that. Especially if we have to get done in, like, what, under five minutes? Or is it under four? If it's under four, I better hurry. Ooh. I think it's under five, so we're okay. But that could have easily been under four. Bit of a strain, but, you know. Not bad. Right on that note, I'm gonna win it off here. For now, man has been Daz. You don't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.